Hello, my name's Rhonda Livingston and I'm the National Education Leader at the Australian Children's Education and Care Quality Authority, or CEQA. Before I start, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of all of the lands across Australia. We recognise and celebrate the contributions of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples as the first Australians, including their role in the education and care of children. I'd also like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on your appointment to the management committee of your respective local preschool education and care service. As committee members of the community-based and operated services, you have an important role in making decisions that are reflective of and responsive to local community needs and interests. As part of the preschool management committee, and leadership team for your preschool, you will oversee various parts of the service. This may include compliance with regulatory requirements, meeting the requirements of the National Quality Framework, including overseeing the development and implementation of the Services Quality Improvement Plan, or QUIP, staffing and employment matters, the development of plans, strategies, policies and financial planning and reporting matters. These are important responsibilities, but they should not overwhelm you. There are many people and organisations such as the CEQA who can support you. During this presentation, we will navigate you through some of the headline changes to the National Quality Framework announced by the Australian State and Territory Ministers in February 2017. We will focus on an understanding of the role of a CEQA, an overview of the NQF changes, a summary of the key changes in the revised National Quality Standard or NQS, and an overview of Quality Area 7, Governance and Leadership. As well, we'll provide some ideas of where to go for resources that will provide ongoing support to you and your service in transitioning to the revised NQS. As many of you may be aware, a CEQA is the independent national authority established under the Education and Care Services National Law. The main role of a CEQA is to guide, monitor and evaluate the efficient and consistent implementation of the National Quality Framework or NQF. This includes overseeing the implementation of the NQF, supporting and promoting quality and improvement outcomes, maintenance of the National Database and Register of Services, the NQA ITS, qualification assessments, second tier reviews, excellent rating applications, training, testing and resourcing of authorised officers and supporting families through initiatives such as starting blocks. So how did the NQF come about? In 2009, all Australian governments agreed to a partnership to establish a national quality framework for education and care services. The NQF introduced a new quality standard in 2012 to improve education and care across long day care, family day care, preschool kindergarten and outside school hours care services. The NQF recognises the importance of the early years and the research that shows quality education and care early in life leads to better health, education and employment outcomes later in life. The NQF aims to raise quality and drive continuous quality improvement and consistency in children's education and care services through the national law and national regulations, the national quality standard, an assessment and quality rating process, nationally approved learning frameworks, a regulatory authority in each state and territory, and a national body, a CEQA. The education and care sector is currently experiencing an exciting time of great change in the NQF. Changes to the NQF 
followed a review of the National Partnership Agreement on the National Quality Agenda for Early Childhood Education and Care and were agreed to by the Australian State and Territory Education Ministers and announced in February 2017. A review commenced in 2014 to determine if the goals of the NQF to improve the quality of education and care in Australia are being met in the most efficient and effective way. The NQF changes demonstrate a commitment to ensuring quality education and care in Australia continues to improve under the NQF in the most efficient and effective way. In this presentation, we will detail the more relevant changes for preschools and refer you to some useful resources for further reading and information. Key changes relevant to preschools include a revised NQS, removal of supervisor certificate requirements, nominated supervisors and persons in day-to-day -day charge of an education and care service must have undertaken child protection training, Approved providers are required to have policies and procedures about sleep and rest for children. There are also changes to the requirements around notifications, incidents, allegation notifications and complaints. The revised National Quality Standard or NQS commenced on 1 February 2018. The new NQS has fewer standards and elements comprising 15 standards instead of 18 and 40 elements instead of 58. It uses language that is more consistently understood and removes duplication between the national quality standard and regulations. The revised NQS strives to clarify how quality is rated in education and care services by streamlining the standards and processes to minimise burden for services and maintain a focus on quality outcomes. In transitioning to the 2018 NQS, services are encouraged to carefully consider how to manage their self-assessment processes, quality improvement plans and maintain assessment and rating preparedness. For information about transitioning to the revised NQS, see the information sheet available on the ASEQA website. A rating of exceeding national quality standard means going above and beyond what is expected at the meeting NQS level. Australian and state and territory governments, ASEQA and education and care experts collaborated to develop new guidance that clarifies the requirements and expectations between meeting NQS and exceeding NQS. In addition to meeting the requirements of a standard, services will need to demonstrate that practice for that standard is embedded in service operations, informed by critical reflection, and shaped by meaningful engagement with families and or the community. From 1 February 2018, services will need to demonstrate all three exceeding themes for a standard to be rated exceeding NQS. Using the observe, cite and discuss methods to collect evidence about service quality, Authorised officers will now look specifically for evidence of the three exceeding themes. Authorised officers will then consider all evidence collected to determine a service's quality rating. The Guide to the National Quality Framework outlines the assessment and rating process, including guidance on the exceeding NQS rating level. This guidance provides excellent support and may be used to inform your service quality improvement plan. As members of the management committee of your local preschool, consider how the new exceeding NQS guidance for standards may be practically applied within your services and used by educators to articulate and advocate quality service provision. Additional resources and information are available on the ASEQA website, including an information sheet and PowerPoint slide pack. So, let's explore your role in more depth. Management committees provide 
the overall governance, management and leadership of the service. Good governance supports the purpose of the service, which is to provide quality outcomes for children and families in the community. Quality Area 7 of the NQS focuses on effective leadership and governance of the service in establishing and maintaining quality environments for children's learning and development. Quality Area 7 comprises two standards. Standard 7.1 requires that governance supports the operation of a quality service. Your role as a committee member and service leader is largely to support your team by ensuring systems, processes and procedures are in place to assist them to improve outcomes for the families and children at your service. The relationship between the committee and the director or nominated supervisor is critical to the effective management of a service. There should be clear policies and procedures that set out each party's responsibilities. Standard 7.2 requires that effective leadership builds and promotes a positive organisational culture and professional learning community. Research demonstrates that there is a strong link between leadership and improved outcomes for children. Effective leadership builds and maintains a professional workplace in which all staff members can communicate and raise issues openly, participate in respectful debate and contribute to each other's ongoing professional learning. A positive work culture that is focused on quality encourages everyone to continuously improve the service for the benefit of children and their families. There is an increased emphasis on supporting the educational leader, highlighting the connectivity between leadership and service management and the need for committee members, nominated supervisors, directors and educational leaders to work in partnership to set direction and establish values for the service that reflect its context and professionalism. There are many resources available to support you in your important role. The ASEQA website provides detailed information for educators and providers on the NQF, its implementation and how it applies to you. Visit the website to access the information sheets, slide packs, webcasts and free printable posters, including a newly released set of quality area posters. I also encourage you to sign up to the ASEQA newsletter and Facebook page. Our Facebook community provides a great connection to the sector and provides regular information on new resources available. The Early Childhood Resource Hub offers access to over 300 digital resources and an innovative discussion area specifically constructed around each of the seven National Quality Standard quality areas. This aims to support educational leadership and programming, self-assessment, critical reflection and inform implementation of quality improvement within services. One specific ASEQA resource I would like to flag is our Quest for Quality game. You can download the free game and instructions or purchase a set of the knowledge cards from the ASEQA website. The game facilitates the development of relationships through team building activities and discussion starters and provides educators with an opportunity to integrate an element of fun into their professional discussions and critical reflection. It has been designed to cater for a range of learning styles and to allow educators at any stage of their education and care career to contribute their wealth of knowledge and experience. The game is designed to assist providers, educators and students to understand the revised National Quality Standard. You'll find it with our NQF videos, podcasts and resources on the ASEQA website. Once again, congratulations on your appointment to the Management Committee of your local preschool. We commend you on the important work you are doing in developing high quality services for your community. We hope this presentation has provided some further insight into how improving quality in education and care services 
improves outcomes for children and families and the important role you have in leading the way.